my GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 317, understanding that genes exist in alternative forms called alleles. And this gives rise to differences in the inherited characteristic. Our cell contains a nucleus. And you'll recall that inside the nucleus are the chromosomes. You'll also recall that the chromosomes operate in pairs, as illustrated by this picture of this organism's chromosomes. These are called the homologous pairs. If we take one pair of chromosomes and look at them in more detail, then it would be possible for us to compare for a gene. We can read the base sequence here and the base sequence, as we know, codes for a protein. So let's illustrate this with an example. Let's say that we're looking at the gene. We're looking at the gene that controls petal color in pea plants. So this base sequence here, which is A, G, T, G, A, A, C, C, A, G, this produces a protein and this gives us a red petal. Now we know that our chromosomes operate in homologous pairs and we also know that if there's a gene here for petal color then at the same position there'll also be a gene here for petal color. But let's look in more detail. <clears throat> here we can see that the genetic code, the base order here is A, A, T. But the base order here is A, G, T. They're different. Both code for petal color, but the base sequence is different. This base sequence produces a protein that would give a white petal. So although we have two versions of the gene, and these are called alleles. In this case, we have a red allele and a white allele. It is possible that the alleles for a gene could be identical. And this condition is known as homozygous. It is also possible that the alleles for one gene are different as in the case above and this is called heterozygous.